and welcome. Today we are going to be working with Bash and we're going to be generating some fake information for some real world scenarios. I'm constantly asked by people to give real world scenarios with scripting, so that's what we're going to do, but we need some fake data uh, to generate. So basically what we need to create is we need to create a spreadsheet that has a column of uh, people's names and then we're going to have 25 columns with pretend yearly salaries for each of those people for 25 years and we'll get into more using this data that we're going to generate in future videos but let's go ahead and first thing we want to do is go to gitlab.com forward slash x 1000 forward slash documents dash tutorials I'll try to remember to put a link to that in the description of the video and you'll want to clone this repository if you don't know what cloning is just click this and click download a zip file and extract it once you do that you'll be presented uh, with a folder with a couple of files and a folder called sal uh, yearly salaries and I am in that folder right now and I have some shell scripts and we're going to go over again in the next couple of videos each one of these shell scripts that I've created I'm going to show you what they do and then I'll explain how they work and the first one I'm going to run is this get people which is really just one command in there if I cat it out you can see it's a w get command uh, which dumps this pastebin post to people.csv which is just this file right here which I've used in tutorials before it's a list of fake names, addresses, and phone numbers, birth dates that I've generated based on real information. So it's realistic, but fake for using in projects like this. So let's go ahead and run that uh, script to download it. So people dot, or I'm sorry, get people. And that will download that file. So now we have that file. And again, I can cap that out. But that's not what we need. We need a column of names and a column and 25 columns of payroll. So there's another script in here called, uh, it's this create CSV. So we're gonna say dot slash create CSV. I'll run it, show you what it generates, and then we'll look at the script itself. So it's creating it. And basically what it's gonna be doing is be taking random names from that people file and then generating random pay scale amounts for each year for 25 years. It's complete. We can cat out that file. It's called salaries.csv. That's what it looks like. We can open it with something like LibreOffice salaries.csv and we're going to want to say it's commas and the delimiter is quotation marks you can see the preview looks good okay and here we have it we have a column for the first name or last name column for the first name and then we have 25 columns of randomly generated fake pay for those people their salaries let's look at the script that we just ran create CSV and see how it works. First thing is first, well first things first, we have a shebang line. Then we are echoing out this little line, just letting you know it's doing something. And then we're going to loop a hundred times because we're going to generate a hundred random entries. I've talked about this in previous videos. We are going to now shuffle the people file and we're going to grab one line from there. So we're going to randomly grab a line from the people CSV file and then we're going to use the cut command and we're going to cut based on commas because it's a comma separated file and we're going to say we want columns two and three which are the last name and first name and then I'm going to remove the new line character at the end and then this next line is going to add a comma to the end of that so that was give us a, f a last name first name so it'll be last name comma first name comma comma and then we're going to continue adding to that line again this dash n means no new line at the end so we're going to continue adding that and what we're going to do is we're going to loop 25 times for 25 years, and then we're going to echo out this. Now, <coughs> what does this do? What it's saying here is we are echoing with no new line character because we're going to loop 25 times. In fact, I could make this a little easier to read if I did this, just slightly easier to read, like that. And in fact, we can move this to a new line. So what we're doing here is we're saying echo and then we have a quotation mark and then we want quotation marks and a dollar sign why do we want quotation marks because our number is going to have commas in it and so we need that string delimiter in our CSV file if there are no commas in the numbers we wouldn't need that I'm going to add a dollar sign here the backslash says use this actually print a dollar sign but the next one's saying run this command again we're going to shuffle numbers so we're going to give it a range of numbers from 30,000 to 120,000 that's going to be our salary range and we're going to return one random number between these two numbers. The next command here is a sed command, which I've talked about in previous videos, uh, that basically just adds commas 
to that number. We could also use num format, which is a much easier thing to read. It's just num format um, dash dash g, and uh, that's a very common tool. But not as common as said. I use said in this. Well, I use said in this command because I didn't know of the num format command when I first wrote this script. But also, I'm leaving it there because. Um, said is on pretty much everything as part of BusyBox, so I mean it's on your phone where the num format may not be. I'm not sure if it is. I haven't checked how common it is. But basically this is just putting commas every third number. So that's just generating 25 uh, different random salaries and putting them in a line. And then this last echo after this loop finishes and generates 25 numbers adds a new line and then it loops again and it's dumping all that into the salaries dot csv file and then it echoes out complete whoops so again if i LibreOffice are not people but salaries dot csv again we use commas our quotation marks for our delimiters because there are commas in our numbers this is what it generates and if you look right here you look at some of the names we can now say, you know, the second one here is Paul Marbury, the first one's Rebecca, then Robert. If we were to run our um, create CSV again, and this takes a little while because it's not only grabbing names from that file one at a time randomly, it's also generating a lot of numbers. We're going to go in here and same options there. And you can see it generated different names. Now we got Deborah, or Deborah, Deborah, James. So this generates all new names, all new numbers. Every time we run that script, it generates a hundred of them, again, with 25 years worth of salary logs. Uh, and again, if I go into our create.cs, or create underscore csv.sh file, uh, one thing I could do is change this, and this should do the same thing. I'll go num format dash dash g, I believe is the proper command. So, oh, I think I need to, well, let me undo that because I removed some things I didn't want to remove. Yes, because I didn't want to remove that comma. So, sorry about that. Num format dash dash g, I believe, if I remember correctly, is the command. Run it again, and we'll open this up. Click OK. And you can see it did the same thing again: random names, random numbers. Um, but it's a little bit easier to read either option. I think I've shown you three different options. And again, num format is a very common tool. It's part of the core utilities uh, package here on Debian. Um, but I'm not sure if it's on lightweight systems. Like if you went to a router or something, this may not be there. Where said probably will be, or could easily be put. Um, so yeah, just another option there. These are all things, commands that we've gone over in the past, uh, and we're just putting them to use now. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please visit filmsbychris.com. In the next video, we're going to start uh, manipulating that data for some usage. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.